Hello, hello, friends. So I was asked the other day by a friend of mine about different patterns in programming, so I figured I'd make some videos about it. Uh, patterns within programming help you do different things, and there are several different kinds of patterns. What we're going to be working with is the JavaScript language, and the first pattern that we're going to learn is the uh, module syntax pattern. So learning this in raw JavaScript can be kind of uh, nasty, so uh, if you don't understand it the first time, don't worry, I didn't either. Uh, so just go back over the video, do more research, and you'll slowly get it. Uh, but once you get it, it's very good to learn. It's very good to know. So there are several different patterns. There's the module, the revealing module, singleton, factory, observer, state, mediator. There's a bunch. Uh, the first one that we'll do is the module pattern. So it'll be a UI pattern that we work with. So the first thing that we want to do, or the only thing we want to do with this small pattern, is we want to change this H1 into something else, right? That's what we're going to write a script for. So let's go here, and in our code, we've got just a right here in the body. I have a little bit of styling, but the main thing is we have an H1 right here inside of a container, and we have a script tag down here. So a module uh, pattern basically uses ifies, which are immediately invocable function expressions. They are functions that run as soon as the page is load, loaded. So the way that you write an ify, just for example, is you go function. And let's just put something like console.log uh, working here. And you'll see, uh, you also have to put parentheses here to invoke this function. So as soon as we save and go back and we inspect our console, you'll see that it is working, even though we didn't actually call this function. Well, we called it right here. But since the page is loaded, it's going to be called every time. It's an immediately invocable function expression, hence the name. So we can actually set that as a uh, function expression. We'll just call this UI uh, controller. And that'll equal that. So then what we want to do is the main thing that you want to do is make your private uh, variables and functions up here. And then you want to return public functions and variables down here. Right? So that's the pattern that we want to do. So up here in our private uh, part of the uh, ify, what we're going to do is we'll just go let text equal, and we'll just put in here changed the h1. That's what we want to change the h1 to. And then underneath that, we can go const text change equals function. And with this function, all we'll do is grab the element. So const element equals document. Uh, dot query selector. Oh, it ain't auto completing. Query selector, and we'll just grab that h1. And then within the function, we'll go element dot text content is going to equal the text that we uh, had up above. Okay, cool. So now what we want to do, those are our private variables and methods. So now what we want to do is return our public ones. So we'll return, and this one's going to be, um, what's this one doing? Call text change. And that's going to be a function that all it does is it calls the text change. So we'll go text change right here. And then we'll also console log the text from up here to show that you can get access to that execution context out of this return function that we're returning right here. So then outside of our ify, oops, outside of our ify, what we want to do is actually call this call text change. So we'll go call text change. And but you can't just call it like that because it's part of this const UI controller. So you have to do it on the UI controller. Dot. So UI controller dot call text change. We'll save that. We'll go back, and it says change the H1. So it did change, and it says change the H1 here. So let's run through this really, really quick. And I'm trying to keep these videos quick because I don't want to bore you into submission because this is pretty uh, nasty programming. It's not easy. So we have a const UI controller which is an ify. It runs immediately. Every time that the page is loaded, it's going to run, and it will return these functions that we can have access to outside of the execution context of this const right here. So we can actually call on the UI, UI controller, we can call call text change. Call text change is right here. It calls text change, which is the private function that actually 
changes the text through getting the element and changing the text content of the element. We gets the te it gets the text variable from up here. So these are your private variables and functions. These are the returned public functions and variables, which can be called outside of the execution context of this larger ify right here. And so this module can be called here, and then it console logs here and changes here. So that's the first one. That's module. The next one I'll do is revealing module, and I'll probably do eight or ten videos like this. And don't worry if you don't get it the first time. This is not super straightforward and super intuitive. So if you don't get it, watch it again, pause it. The reason that I try to make these videos short is that I don't want it to be a 20 minute diatribe about like once you just get into the code and you can go through it on your own, it's easier to understand like that, at least in my estimation. So I'm gonna try to keep these videos short and I'm gonna make a playlist of them and uh, yeah, 